Hello everyone and welcome back for another review. But first, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get all of my recently uploaded videos. Fast and Closer Review Collecta the Mountain Nyla Funimalia, a large world in small dimensions. The Mountain Nyla Tragilophus bextoni, one of Africa's large antelopes which is distinctive and endangered, inhabits high in the mountain woods of Ethiopia, a robust and cautious antelope that was first described in 1910, is only found here and nowhere else. It has only one species and no subspecies, while other spiral, horned antelopes have reached some level of popularity the Mountain Nyla is still fairly unexplored. Today, we'll examine the figure of this elusive antelope from Collecta. While different antelope species have long been a standard in the tow figure market, these are often the most well-known or clearly recognizable species and Collecta succeeded to add a new obscure species to its expanding herd of amazing antelopes. The Mountain Nyla and Nile A are both antelopes, but the Mountain Nyla is taller, larger and darker than the Nyla and has thicker horns. The Nyla males also have a tuft of hair on the throat, the mountain Nyla is less common and less widespread than the Nyla. It is a large antelope species that is sexually dimorphic, meaning males and females have distinct physical characteristics. Only males have large horns, while females and young males do not. Collecta is well known for creating detailed and accurate sculptures of antelopes. And this particular figure is a great example of their craftsmanship. The figure is 13, 1 cm long and 10 cm tall. It is designed to show the animal in the middle of a walk, with a calm yet vigilant posture, and its head held out in front. The sculpture of the head is intricately detailed, with a variety of textures and features such as hair and muscle definition. The face is particularly noteworthy with the characteristic stripes between the eyes on the muzzle and the sides of the head as well as on the cheeks. The ears are large, with the inside of the ears having a pink color to indicate the skin and the tips of the ears are white. The eyes are large and black with a light brown area around them. The mountain Nyala's horns are typically a cream color and are known for their spiral shape with one or two turns. This feature is accurately represented in the Collecta figure with the horns being thick and spiraling upward in an impressive manner. 
The horns also feature a lot of intricate details, and the paint job is very well done. Although the tips of the horns are sharp, they are slightly rounded for safety. The color of the figure matches the body color of the Mountain Isla quite well, with a combination of dark brown, gray, and some lighter brown highlights. However, the Collecta figure has nine stripes instead of the typical five, and they are more pronounced than they would be in real life. This is a minor mistake, but it could be due to individual variation or inconsistency in the quality control process. The spots are correctly located and the number of spots is accurate. Another characteristic feature of the Mountain Nyla is the short, thick, dark crest on the middle of the back that runs from the neck to the tail. Both males and females have this crest, but the female's crest is shorter than that of the males. The crest on the figure is well-defined and is colored black with white highlights, which helps to bring out the details of each individual strand. This figure is an excellent addition to any collection. It's very well done and has many intricate details. It would be a great addition to any collection that features African wildlife. If you are an enthusiast of antelopes, this figure is a must-have. And when displayed, alongside the rest of Collecta's fantastic antelope figures, it truly stands out and is one of the favorites. That concludes our review for today. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. Until our next review, take care and stay healthy. Cheers!